coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. What's cool is you start right when you leave camp, whether you're hiking up to a vantage point, whether you're getting in a boat going across a lake. I mean, the bottom line, you just never know what's going to happen. Moose mania, baby. Newfie style. Hey, welcome to This Week. And this week, well, we're heading north, north, northeast. Northeast, yeah. Definitely northeast. To north, Newfie. North. Newfie. Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Mm-hmm. He Newfoundland. found some new land. I and found some new land. And yeah, it was really cool. We're going to go up there and hunt moose with Bob Efforts hunting. I mean, we've been up with Bob for many years, and I'm going to tell you, it just keeps getting better. It does. And you know what? I mean, we went up there, and you know, it seems that every time we go up there, the weather can be such extremes. And once again, it happened, but we have a great show to share with you. Because you're so. surrounded by water, and you never know. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. There always seems to be like a hurricane or something. I don't know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey guys! How are you doing? We're good. We're good. How are you guys? How are you doing? What's going on, bud? How are you? You're still, you're still just What's short. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, doing well. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this because I'm going to tell you, man, I always watch your guys' show. Oh, <laughs> well, thank all, you. All the time, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> She's still putting up with you? Pardon me? She's still putting up with you? <laughs> oh yeah. Can you believe it? <laughs> we are here. Doing Cliff just picked us up. We are going to the float dock, right? Yeah. We're going to the float plane dock. We look so forward to heading up to Bob Efforts, and I'll, and I'll tell you why. Not only because of Bob and the, you know the way he runs his outfit, but all the guys. I mean, we just get along. It's fun, and it's just. It's one of those hunts you just love to keep going back to. How are you, buddy? <laughs> How are things? Good, you? Good, real good. Ralph and Vicky are no strangers to Newfoundland's colossal territory. With an area of over 42,000 square miles, Newfoundland world's 16th largest island and Canada's fourth largest island. Well, Bob just flew us in, and it, it's actually the camp I was here last year, and I shot my caribou. I miss Bob would catch her. He wouldn't catch me. All right, brother. With all the gear unloaded, Bob heads back to the mainland in the float plane. So begins the hunt for moose. Newfie. First kill of Newfie. I got the fly. I am done. I beat Ralph. Just saying. With their tags filled out, Ralph and Vicky gear up to take advantage of the remaining daylight for an evening hunt. Getting to your vantage point is the key. Once you get up there, you can sit there for a couple hours or most of the day. It depends on the movement of the game. And you're glassing, I mean, literally miles all around you. And from this point, maybe you're gonna hike to another point. But the bottom line is you're glassing, you're using your optics to cover so much ground. And once you locate the animals, then you make your move. Throughout the day, the crew spots one juvenile moose, and as the evening draws to a close, they enjoy the dramatic landscape and breathtaking sunset, hoping for a chance at a mature moose tomorrow.
We was going off on top of the ridge and uh, you seen a few moose there earlier on, but uh, we're gonna follow this foggy up there now so you can't see nothing. So we're gonna follow this base of ridge up away from the fog, so the fog lifts and we go up high and look. As the fog begins to lift, Newfoundland's landscape is revealed. Led by Duane, Ralph and Vicki are now able to press on unrestricted by the fog. We got the fog burning off, which is what we wanted. Now we'll just start working this ridge parallel in this ridge. We got a west wind, so everything is in our favor. That sun's dropping, temperature is dropping from this morning. We took the boat across the pond, hiked all the way up, hiked down, hiked all the way up, got to this vantage point. Problem was the wind, the wind would never settle. It was blowing all day long. So we would see him sporadically and then he'd be going, they'd be laying tight. But we're still sitting here for a while trying to glass because if the wind's good tomorrow, we're going up high and we're hiking this whole perimeter of this valley and getting up to that back top knob over there. So is that a new can opener? Yep, oh. brand new. What are you doing now? Open can of mushrooms, you want some? How much you cook it? Uh, I'm gonna cook enough for you. Uh, all right, but now wait, don't cook too much, because you know, like you cooked a dozen hot dogs yesterday, and Vicky and I had like two each, and then you yeah, yelled at us. If I cook it, you're eating it, because don't say, take a mouthful, it's like, I'm full on, go be it. You're eating it. What did he say? He said, we're eating it, and he, he waved a big knife at me. N-W-A-N. -N. Newfie with a knife. N-W... No, I Straight out of Newfie! Yeah, yeah it's, it's actually N-W... N-W-K... Yeah, whatever. N-W-A-K. If just in case, people... This is what he drinks all the time. Mouthwash? <laughs> Dwayne, is this your favorite? This one makes me put up the real. <laughs> yes. The jokes continue to roll as dinner is prepared for the hungry crew. A hot, fresh meal hits the spot, especially for the exhausted hunters. Boots are on the ground early the next morning to continue the pursuit of the great North American moose. There's two ways to make toast. Over the fire, the or two, over day. the fire. Well, we finally got a break in the weather. It's the chilliest morning we've had. We got a good, just a, just a steady west wind. We're gonna hike up, we're gonna take the boat, and we're gonna hike back up above the cabin. There's a beautiful valley, and we've seen moose there before, um, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen.
Well, Dwayne, are we going to camp out here for a while? Yeah, we will. Yeah. yeah. Camp out here for a while. See what we see. Well, you, I mean, we cover it. Look at this area we cover. Oh, yeah, you can see everything. <laughs> I was hoping the wind wasn't going to be blowing like this. Lunar tables, this is not a good day. No? No. I don't know. We're going to make it a day. Yeah, we're going to make it a day. We're sitting at our vantage point. We're all sitting there glassing. We're trying to see, you know, watch the movement of the game. And next thing you know, we spot this bull and this bull's coming from way over to, to our left side. And he's, he's heading, like he's heading from east to west. Wind's perfect in our favor. Dwayne says, I know which route he's going. And I mean, so we hike down, we come across the bog, you know what I mean? And we go across and I mean, we get to a vantage point, just do a little bit of calling. This is the closest opportunity we've had in four days. Yesterday we lost it because of the weather. But... We got up on this bull for Ralph and it was behind some brush and Dwayne was doing some calling and sure enough, when this bull shows up, you see him? I'm sitting there with my 300 win mag, my Browning Expo. I'm sitting all perched up there. As he comes in, he just clears. Boom! I take the shot. Good job, my buddy. Thank you, brother. Come here. <laughs> Two years to do it, we done it though. Whew. We got fresh moose meat, baby! <laughs> Congratulations. We're here with Bob Effort, and our guys have done, had tremendous success here through the years with really one main dude, Dwayne. Dwayne is the man? He's the man. He's, he's, he's the Newfie man. We made it happen, and, and I mean, to get to them, to recover them, to know that we just filled the freezer with fresh moose meat. Yeah, we are all pumped and jacked. <laughs> There's my Newfoundland bull. Keeping the meat cold or chilled. He didn't go nowhere, he didn't suffer. Awesome. No, the work tracks. Yeah, it does. Well, lo and behold, believe it or not, this is the first moose I've ever shot with a rifle. <laughs> Done a good job. Bro. It is, buddy. You got to fly. Done yeah. Good job. It, I mean, it was it was really cool. I mean, he ended up. You spotted these guys about a mile and a half away, a little over a mile. We haven't seen a whole lot of big bull moose. Um, and when we saw, we said when we saw a, just you know a, a nice representative, yeah. we were doing it. And guess what? We did it. We just got now. We got now. The work starts for sure. We're gonna, we're gonna quarter him up, get him out of all this stuff, and awesome, really cool. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Bob. Awesome.
it's my turn to hunt. Ralph shot a bull yesterday. We have a bunch of meat for the freezer. Ralph shot his that way. Today we're gonna go all the way to the other corner there to see what we can see. We were there the other day and we saw a bunch of, a bunch of moose, but they were pretty far away, so we're hoping today we can get a little closer to them. We'll see. What's cool is you start right when you leave camp, whether you're hiking up to a vantage point, whether you're getting in a boat going across a lake and getting to another, climbing to another high vantage point. I mean, the bottom line, you just never know what's gonna happen. We climbed up over this mountain and we were glassing. We saw a big bull up at top, but he went over and we're like, forget about it. He's over on top, we don't know where he's at. And we spotted another nice bull. He was midway down this mountain in front of us and he's already down to the bottom. We've got probably another two miles to catch up to him, but we're going and it's going to get hot. We figured out the best way for us to get down. We got to go through this thicket, get down the bottom and run across this bog. Now, you have to understand where we're seeing this moose, he's probably honestly a good, mm, almost two miles away from us. We get down the side of the mountain and we start booking across this bog and you have to be really careful where you're stepping because even though it looks like there's grass and there's land, there's not. And you can ask any of us, all of us got up to the thighs and mud holes thinking that it was solid ground and it wasn't. The terrain is horrible. And Chad here, he doesn't like it at all. In fact, he went up to his thighs in the mud. Oh, oh. our wind we don't want to go any further that way because of our wind. That bull was actually working his way to us we were working our way to him and we got set up the wind is in our favor we're ready to go Ralph's got the Montana decoy out there he's trying to use it that bull's coming into us we're Dwayne's excited we're excited we're waiting for everything to happen and he's coming straight in and all of a sudden he just stops. Now we're not sure if the wind switched or what happened but he stopped he knew Something was up. This is a really good Newfie bull and he knew better. Well, he spun and he took off and I was a little depressed, I admit it. But you know what? It was a blessing to be able to see that size of a bull. Dwayne, he was he was upset, but he was happy that, I mean, we, we made an amazing stalk. It took us a long time. And unfortunately, there's your ups and your downs of hunting. You know, we got really excited. We saw the moose. Hey, you know what? It's all part of being out there in the wilderness. It's part of why we love going on them wilderness hunts is because you never know what's going to happen. You always need to be prepared, whether it's physical or mental. You need to have that game on you at all times. Ugh, we've said it before. Hunting is the highest of high and the lowest of low in a millisecond. He but he ran. Got, he got to like 70 yards and I had no shot. It was just through the stick stuff and he took off. And every time he stopped because I'm following him, he just, his whole body stopped right in the thicket. But you know what? We saw a big one. <laughs> we saw a big one. Yeah, we can't wait to get back. Moose mania, baby. Newfie style. Congratulations. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't care where you're at. When you're hunting moose, it's a blast. Well, there, there's something, you know, one of our favorite critters is moose hunting. I yep. mean, they're just so big and they taste so good, especially when you uh. throw them on the trigger. I mean, it's just, Ooh. we love moose meat. And you know what, going up to Bob Efforts hunting in Newfie, you, like you said, Newfoundland is one of the highest concentrated populations of moose. Bar none. So, I mean, I mean, we did see a bunch of moose. Oh, we saw it a bunch. It was slow, it was pretty warm the first part of oh. the trip, but, you know. And we've said it forever. When it's warm, moose can't move. They shut right. it down, but, but right. we made something happen. We filled the freezers, we had a great hunt. Vicky had an incredible encounter Amazing. with a big bull. But he knew something was up. And yeah, I think he saw your hair flapping. He didn't see my hair. I think he had your beard tickled in the nose or something. I don't know. Something weird. Your hair was falling out again. Or, did that hurt? Don't do that. It hey, won't grow back. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next Ow. week. <laughs> you see?